Hello everybody, my name is Kai1. Today I'm going to show with you guys all kinds of video footage, test footage for the Aperture Nova P300C and some personal thoughts about that light because I didn't own that light. I just go to the rental house to play with that light several hours and I'm just going to share with you guys because I'm pretty excited about this Aperture Nova light. Since 2015, the Avi Sky Panel release, I just really want to buy the Sky Panel because it just looks dope. But the Sky Panel is just so expensive, I just can't afford it. But after five years, Aperture release and start to ship the Nova P300C. I'm not going to talk about all the specs about the Nova P300C because I'm not a scientist. I'm a filmmaker so I use my Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 4K to show you guys the footage what we can capture. So my camera is set to 3200 ISO, uh, 60 frames per second, 180 degrees shutter, f3 aperture, aperture f3, aperture. <laughs> so this rental house also have a very big studio. First test, full output 10 meter test. And because the light source is super far away, the shadow is kind of sharp. And next test, I set the dimmer to 50%. Yeah, the footage is still usable, but uh, it's a little bit dark. The noise is noticeable. Keep in mind, this is a 10 meter test. So the light source is really, really far away. Usually if you are going to light up this kind of huge scenes, you would need to bring tons of light, not just one single light source. Next test, we're going to bounce the light because this rental house don't have any diffuser for this Aperture Nova light. So I just try to bounce the light off the wall and try to see how much output can we get over here. The chair is five meter away from the light source. It looks pretty, pretty bright. The Aperture Nova is a 120 degree beam angle soft light. So it's super duper easy to light up a huge wall, a huge scene. Yeah, it just looks beautiful. Look at this footage, five meters soft bounce light. Wow. This is awesome. And because the beam angle is so wide, it's so easy to create some creamy soft light. I really love this kind of creamy soft light. Look at that shadow. Wow. It just looks amazing. Next test, we're going to shoot the light directly to the subject. The Nova light is super duper bright, but because the light source is still a little bit far away, the shadow is still pretty sharp. But if you shoot a close up shot, yeah, it's a different story. The edge of the highlight and the shadow is so much softer than compared to a super hard light source. After 300D Mark II, yeah, the Nova is really a soft light and you can tell the difference. The Aperture Nova is already a soft light source, but if you want to go even further, go buy some bigger diffuser like light dome stuff, DOP choice kind of stuff. Wow, that's expensive. Accessories for the 300D Mark II is so much cheaper because of the Bowens mount. I can buy lots of light dome, different sizes, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm just a poor kid. So I will just keep playing the footage and I'm gonna talk about something else. The braking system on the Nova is so much better than the 300D Mark II. Maybe because the Nova is a huge and heavy light, so they gotta reinvent the braking system. But the braking system on Nova is just so smooth and so easy to lock it. I thought I would use the CCT mode on the Nova most of the time, but after using the RGB function on that light, just changed my mind because it's just so bright. And because of super bright brightness, we can do tons of different effect and that the effect feel like it's part of the scenes, not like the Aperture MC. This is a super small light. Yeah, it has lots of effect, but if you have a room full of lights, this, how to use this light on a bigger production is harder to use this light to do some kind of cool effect. You can buy tons of MC to do different effect. I think the Aperture MC and the Aperture Nova is a completely different product because this MC in the film set, most of the time when the environment is super dark, you just need a small key light. You can do it like this and shoot a close up shot. Oh, it looks awesome. But Nova, you cannot do it like this. It's a huge heavy light. You cannot put it 
in front of your client, your actor, and just, <laughs> that will be crazy. So I write down three reasons why I will use the Nova in my production, in my workflow. So the first one, ambient light. So because the beam angle, 120, I really love the 120 beam angle. It's so wide. We can light up the scene so easily with the Aperture Nova. And the second way to use the Nova in my workflow will be the hair light. This hair light, because the Nova is a soft light, so the hair light looks prettier. I shoot tons of footage because I love the feel of the softer hair light. You may think that 300D Mark II is pretty much the same, just looks pretty similar. But remember, Aperture Nova is a RGB light, so you can change the color of your hair light. That's awesome. <laughs> and the third way I will use the Aperture Nova light in my workflow will be the background light because it can change tons of color. And again, the 120 beam angle. <laughs> I just really love the 120 beam angle and the soft light. That is just an awesome mix. <laughs> Almost to the end of this video, I just want to talk a little bit more about my personal experience. In my workflow, I use 5600 Kelvin light and I have an Aperture Tri-8 that's a bicolor light. So yeah, bicolor light, we can change the Kelvin. But I never thought I would need an RGB light in my workflow. But after using it in a rental house, this light just totally blow my mind. So much fun choosing different color choosing different saturation. That's a completely different experience. I just can't wait to rent a Nova light and just put it into real world situation, put it into a production and play with the light or even buy a Nova light because just so cheap. <laughs> okay, so this is the end of this Aperture Nova P300C personal thoughts video. So if you like this video, press like, make sure you subscribe my YouTube channel to check out more crazy filmmaking stuff. And if you want to watch more crazy filmmaking stuff, check out this playlist. My name is Kai Wan, and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.